Namibia hosts quite a few foreign nationals in the local labor market. The fastest growing is that of Chinese people. And with an unemployment rate of 28%, what does the National Union of Namibian Workers have to say about this? Uh, uh, it's true. There are, there are non-Namibians that are doing work that, that ordinary Namibians can do. It's very bad. You know, but I will this time around not want to blame any institution or any national. I don't want to blame political leadership also, because they are not the one that are handling the applications. It's our own people. Why they are doing that is only them knows why they are doing that. But they are building a foundation for a consequence. And I'm always saying, well, let's not make that foundation that is not good, strong. Because when it becomes strong, it comes and destroys you who has been signing, signing also those illegal work permits. With the current xenophobia attacks in South Africa directly related to foreign nationals, do Namibians have any reason to fear that such activities will also happen locally? We have capable leadership in this country. And the good thing is Namibia are peace-loving nations, although we have a very brave nation, as per the name of this country as the land of the brave. And we are truly brave. And we must also guard against that. Nobody wants to see the bravery of Namibians against the Namibians. The bravery of the Namibians must be seen by us protecting the interests of uh, this country as braves. Not to show our bravery to, uh, to any Namibian. That is the warning I'm going to give you. Muniaro called on all Namibians who regularly do business in South Africa to be careful and rather stop transacting until the situation improves. Government is also called on to avail funds in repatriation of all Namibians who are in the neighbouring country. Franchu Ulafir reporting for the news on one.